Jazzy leggings on. Back into a routine. Going to be doing the event there. This is like a revelation. It's something I thought I would never say. So if you're looking for like really high Sarah. Good morning, I have got my jazzy leggings on. I think they're actually for yoga, but I thought it might brighten up my day. I am heading out for a walk. I'm going to try and get my steps up. This week is the week after half term. So we came back from down south last night and I am ready to get them back into a routine, back to school. Um, and I'm ready to get back on with my work too. So I will be filling you in later on with what is going on with the week. But for now, I'm marching up this really steep hill. Hello, and I'm back. I am doing a working from home day today. So this morning, obviously I went out for my walk, did really well on that, actually walked quite fast. And I think that was because I didn't take a coffee with me. Normally I sort of stop and sip my coffee, but I was on it this morning. Came back, I had a few um, meetings this morning on Zoom, so I was doing that. Then I had some friends pop over, which was lovely. So I quickly caught up with them. Um, and then I'm just basically working through my massive to-do list. I have got like admin overload. I don't know what you call it, yeah. Massive admin overload. Loads of just really boring things that I need to do, just normal day-to-day -day stuff, but then exciting work stuff. So I am doing an event with Mint Velvet in about three weeks time. So we're just finalizing the details and we've managed to get a beauty brand on board, which I'm very excited about. So I'm meeting them on Thursday. So I'm popping into the Mint Velvet shop. I'm gonna meet the team there. I've only met a few of them. So I want to go and see and see the space again. Obviously, anyone that knows the York uh, Mint Velvet shop, it is beautiful. It's massive as well. It's got a really good space and it's quite light at the back. Anyway, we're doing an evening event, so I don't know why I'm talking about the light, but always light is on my mind. So we are going to be doing the event there and I'm going to be doing it with Laura Fawcett, who I will put a link below. She is a stylist. She's based in Yorkshire, but she does do things over Zoom if you're really looking for somebody that you can't find anyone near you. And she will do lots of different things. One of the things she does is she can take you out shopping and find a new wardrobe for you. She can edit your wardrobe. Um, she also does color analysis, which I totally recommend. If you haven't done that, then I think it's such a brilliant thing to do. I did it with another lady who's also in Yorkshire, but more Harrogate way, uh, called Anna Muse. And she's great, really, really good. And I've had my colors done recently. I just love that sort of idea of learning what colour suits my skin tone, my hair, what shape suits my body, all those sorts of things. So if you need a little bit of help, um, then I totally recommend those two and I'll put links below so you can go and find them. I Why am I going on about this? Oh, because the Mint Velvet event. So Thursday, I'm off doing that. Tomorrow I have another meeting, Wednesday I have a meeting, I've just got meetings, it's a bit of a, I think I'm going to say it's a bit of a boring week, but it is my daughter's 11th birthday on Friday, so we're going to have a nice day Friday evening and then Saturday we've got lots of exciting plans. I just showed you some of the flowers that we had from the christening that was left over, so I swiped quite a few, a few bunches, really beautiful, let me show you. A little bit of more water picked me up, oh look, especially that one. Uh, that looks like a poppy that's kind of but they're just beautiful you can't really see them because mine in the way but honestly the the way they were done was just stunning um so i bought them already made like this i was going to make them up myself and then I, I was just like do you know what so near where my parents live they've got a green book grocers and out the back there's a lady that does all the flowers so i just bought them already done which was quite nice. So we had those on the table for the christening. So I stole a few, so I must do some photos with them before they die. 
Um, as you all know, I'm a massive faux flower fan. There and there. Uh, I have bunches everywhere of faux flowers because I don't like it when they die. So I'm normally a faux flower fan. However, these are particularly gorgeous and really nice. So I think I might trim the ends and try and get them back to life a bit so I can take some photos of them this week. I've got a few different um, campaigns I'm working on over in on Instagram and lots of them need a tidy house. So I'll be doing lots of that this week. One, I've got a few things to show you. One is this mug, sorry, this is filled with coffee. Let me just get out of the way. This is another one that's not filled with coffee. So it looks like this. I mean, can you see that? Oh, how do I do this? Tap on the, there we are. They're so nice. Um, so I was sent these for a Christmas present from a friend of mine, um, but I love like mugs like this and I just think it's too good to not share. So they are by a potter, I probably should call her, shouldn't I? Uh, called Victoria and Finch. I know to go on her website, but it looks like one of those where she, when she does a batch, she then sells them and then does another batch. But I must say to this friend, she must have bought them somewhere, like in a shop in Yorkshire, unless she bought them on the website, who knows. But I just love sharing lovely little brands like this with you all. So I wanted to just get that in there. Something else has arrived uh, while I was away, so I'm gonna show you that now. So I ordered this, I was gonna say for my birthday to treat myself, which is an absolute lie, because I'm just stretching out this birthday, aren't I? I just ordered it because I really wanted it. So it's from the brand called Holland & Cooper. Um, they've been going for quite a few years now. So if you don't know them, have a look. They've obviously got all their social channels there. It's very kind of country, smart kind of, it's just like the things that I kind of love. Um, so I bought this uh, for myself, hold on. Oh, is it blue or gray? I thought it was blue. What did I order? Yeah, navy. So you'll be like, oh, this is interesting. It's not, it's not the typical sort of thing that I normally wear. I am a really cold person. And so my husband wears one of these all the time. And the actual one that he bought is more expensive than this. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get myself one. And it's actually really lovely quality. Look at all the, look at that. Really nice. And on the back here, there's this whole leather bit here. Oh, it feels amazing. That feels so nice. So I haven't tried it on yet. I'm hoping that I bought the right size. I kind of wanted it big to go over things. It does look a bit too big now, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. It's got pockets. Oh, and a popper on the pocket. This is great. And, oh, there we are. That is really nice. So it's kind of, it says it's a navy, but I feel like it's more of a grey. But yeah, I really like it. It's not too, like, over the top with branding as well. Sometimes you get big symbols and things. That's quite subtle, isn't it? Obviously, it's got it on the back there. Um, I really like it. I'm thinking, like, with a white shirt underneath, jeans, my lovely uh, Fairfax and Favour boots. I think that will look really smart. And obviously, you can just throw it over things as well. And under coats just to keep you cosy. I'm always freezing. I think we just live in a really old house. So it's just freezing all the time. We also have one of these nest things over here that my husband can control from his phone, which he thinks is hilarious. And I really don't think it's hilarious because obviously he's not here in the day, so he can just control the temperature. And I'll still be sitting there thinking it's freezing. And I reckon he's just like not turned the heating on. We're obviously trying to be good at the moment and not have the heating on all the time because it's obviously very, very expensive. So I've been like layering up. My study is in here and it's freezing. We're at the end of the house. So I literally sit with jumpers and layers on while I sit and work <laughs> in there. But this I think is gonna be really useful very pleased. I think it's a useful goodbye, which hopefully will last and last. I'm trying to be better with my purchases. So I buy more good quality things that will last 
and not too much fast fashion. I hope you've noticed that over these last few vlogs and things, that I'm trying to make an effort to buying nice quality things that I really love and want to keep. Anyway, let's let I will try all this on in the week and just let you see let's see what you think. Good morning. I am off out on my walk. I'm just looking over there at the weir. Look, there are so many trees that have come down that are just sat on that weir. Big, big trees. I don't know what's happened there, but they're all sitting at the top. I am admiring. There are bits of spring coming through. I can see like little buds, bits of blossom, lovely little snowdrops coming through. I can't wait for this place to get like spring-like. So in between here, we've got loads of wild garlic. So all of this area here will just be filled with wild garlic. The smell, if you don't like garlic, it would be awful, but the smell is just like incredible. It just like smells just like you're walking through a garlic field. It's really odd. So it's so, so pretty. Oh, look, it's so nice, all these little snowdrops. So today I've got a day of admin. I had a meeting and the lady has canceled, which is really annoying because I had so much other stuff that I could have done. So I'm a bit like, oh, what am I gonna do with myself? But I do have a big list. One of the big things that I did over half term, this is like a revelation, is I downloaded the app QuickBooks. So you're probably all thinking, yeah, I've done that. So you get your first 30 days for free. This is not an ad, by the way. You get the first 30 days for free, and then you obviously have to start paying. And I think it was three pounds something, and obviously you can upgrade it. But it's amazing. So I have always been one of these people that puts my receipts in a box and then I don't really look at the receipts until it comes to January. Then I have to sort them all out. Then I hand the shoe bag, the shoe box over to my husband and say, help me. And then he does my tax return. So I have decided that I need to be more organized about my money, what's coming in and what's going out because I literally have no idea no idea what subscriptions I'm, 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 I'm signed up for. I don't know anything. So my mission is to just get really good at my money and working out what's coming in, what's going out and being a lot better at it. So this QuickBook app is amazing. I can't recommend it enough. I'm really actually enjoying going through it, which is something I thought I would never say. Look, the garlic's coming. This is it here. So it goes all the way up the sides, all here and here. It's all coming through and it's really nice. If you buy it, if you buy it, sorry, if you pick it and then you obviously wash it properly, then you can slice it up and cook it and you have it like on garlic bread and you make sauces with it. It's really good. Anyway, back to the QuickBooks. I totally recommend it. If you are looking for some something, then I think it's a really good app. So I got my mum onto it and she's now doing it for her work. And I, I'm kind of kicking myself because I've known about this for so long and I've always thought, oh, it's really expensive. Oh, um, I don't have time for that. Oh, I'll just do my shoe boxes. I've just come up with so many excuses. And now I'm like, why have I not been doing this? So I'm literally gonna go through the last year and work out what, what is what, what I'm spending money on and try and get a bit more clued up with my finances because I have no clue what I'm doing. So that is one of my missions today. I've got loads of missions, but one is to go and get that done. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise, this lady counselling, because I might be able to get my life in order. So I just wanted to quickly talk to you about foundation because as you all know, I love makeup, absolutely obsessed with it. And I go through quite a lot of different brands, but I wanted to tell you what I recommend now. So first of all, I haven't got any and I can't find what I've done with it because I think I've run out, so I do need to buy some, is I love the brand IT Cosmetics. Some people say IT Cosmetics. So you can find them in a big boots or you can buy it online but they have a cream called Bye Bye Under, Bar, Under Eye and it's illuminating, very, very thick um, 
and it's amazing. So I have got a tube of it that I'm still going through, which I've had for ages, which I absolutely love. The, all the writing on it has worn off because it's so good. Um, so if you're looking for like really thick coverage that you think will last, I always go back to that brand. I just think it's a really good foundation. So they do do an illuminating foundation as well, which comes in a tube, which you can pump at the top. Great application to put on. I put start putting it on my hands and then I either work it in with a brush. I was just looking to see if I have a brush here, but I don't. Uh, or I use a, a sponge, slightly damp, and literally plop it, plop it on, no, pat it on. Um, and I love it, it's so good. If you are looking for something that's lighter coverage, then this is the one I recommend. NARS. So NARS has been around for years and years and years. I used to use them as a teenager. God knows how I afforded that. I don't think I did, but they are so good. Uh, I've still got a very old blusher that I always go back to of theirs and I totally recommend them. So this is called Sheer Glow. Um, the thing I don't like about it is it's a screw top like this. So it's really difficult to get it out. So you have to put your finger on, pat it out and then put it on. So in terms of application, it's not great, but it's lasted me quite a long time. It's a really lovely, nice coverage. What you can do is build it up gradually. So you do a layer, do another layer. And I sometimes do three layers on. I don't find it lasts me for the whole day, but it looks natural and glowy and really, really nice. So I totally recommend that. The next one, oh, before I forget, this concealer is the best. So excuse the, the dirty top there. Let me just try and get out of the picture. So it's like a little pot like this. It's not very big. However, here it is. You just, I just take my wet sponge with the point bit and just take a bit out literally pad you could do it with a brush and i do under here if i'm not doing my bye bye under eye it cosmetics then i use this um it's so nice it's very natural you can use it over blemishes and spots and things like that but it's a really really good concealer so i totally recommend this and then this is what i've just bought so if you watch my last vlog you'll see that i was sent some charlotte tilbury products now, I've used lots of theirs in the past and I have used their foundation. However, my sister gave it to me. I don't know why. She doesn't really like full coverage and I think she bought it by mistake. So she gave me one of theirs years ago and I've just had it sort of sitting there. So when this collaboration came about, I was like, right, I'm going to find it. We got it out. It was the wrong colour and wrong shade for me. And it just, yeah, it was too orange. But I quite like the texture of it. I quite like the feel of it. So anyway, I bought myself some. So I have bought this one. So this is their Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So it's the longest lasting one. The application is great because it comes in a pump like this. So you just pump the amount you want off. Um, what I really would recommend though is to go and get Colour Match because there are so many shades in this. So I went, when I was down in London, I got Colour Match down there and I should have just got it there. I don't know why I didn't, but I ended up going, oh, do I need it? Do I not need it? And obviously I did need it. So I actually bought it online. Their service online is really good. You can like, it came within a few days. Um, I also signed up to one of their membership kind of things. So it was actually cheaper. So I have been using this for the last four days now. I love it. It's really, really nice. It's kind of got a kind of silky thickness to it. It's not like this, which is much thinner. And it's not like the IT Cosmetics, which is more of a cream base. It's got a different kind of feel to it. Um, so I've got it on now, but I've obviously got the bronzer over the top. I don't know if you can see. Light is shocking in here, isn't it? It's really not. Is that better? And it doesn't look too kind of cakey, if you can see there. It just kind of sits nicely on the skin. And I feel like it gives me a sort of glow, but not too glowy, because I don't want it to be too illuminous. I feel like I'm too old now to be so illuminous. So I think this is a really lovely product. So if you're in, if you're looking for foundation, then try this. I'm sure they have samples as well that you can try. I always try and get samples when I'm out before. I have a lot of problem with my eyes. My eyes are really sensitive to 
loads of products. They literally swell up, they get really irritated. Any creams that go near them, you know, last week, I don't know what happened, but I must have got cream in my eye and they just go mad. I can't also use really strong eye products on my eyes. So I've got quite a sensitive skin. So I always try to get samples beforehand just to try it out before you fork out and spend loads of money. They do have samples there. Clarins are a great one for samples. When I went in the other day to have my facial at the beauty bar, which I'm so looking forward to, I've booked another one. They gave me, they said, can I try this and this? Yep, yeah, no problem. And they gave me loads of samples. And then I then actually bought their cleanser, which I've got in there, which I should talk about too, which is a really nice cream cleanser. Because my face is so dry and it's very combination, it's a really nice thing to put on. It's just that cream. I love an oil cleanser or a cream cleanser. Maybe I'll talk about cleansers another time. Anyway, I'm boring you. But something has arrived in the post and I'm rather excited, so I want to show you. So my lovely friend Lucy owns this brand here. I've worked with her lots in the past and it her products have all got kind of like a Parisian feel and style to them. She is expanding all the time and she's got so much more stock now than when she first started. So she has sent me one of the new pieces that's on the website now, so I want to show you. It's all beautifully packaged up, hold on. So here we go. Everything is just comes very nicely packaged. She's got beautiful swing tags. I mean, really lovely quality. Everything's labelled up. I've gone for the large, obviously, because of my bust. Let's see what it looks like. So, this, I just love the scallop detail. Can you see that? How nice is that? I'm going to hang this up and give this an eye in. I've got my friend Charlotte coming next week. and We're going to do a photo shoot together. So, I'm thinking I might wear this with some jeans or even heels. I just think it's quite a cool piece. I quite like the black as well. Um, it's kind of embroidered on, so it's really nice detail. Can I see that? There you are, can you see that? It's really lovely. So if you don't aren't familiar with her brand, please go and check it out. Follow her on Instagram. She's got some lovely um, pieces already on there for the new season. And every, lots of new things come in all the time, so have a look. She also has limited stock. So once it's gone, it's gone. Um, which I really like about the brand as well. You know, it's not continuous. Everybody's going to have it. That won't happen with her. So go check her out and uh, do leave a comment and let me know what you think. I will try this on, obviously, and give you some feedback on it and let you know what it looks like on. Right, now I've got a friend coming for lunch and then I might head out and quickly get my nails done if I can get in and... Then I think I'm going to head out for a walk later with another friend um, and try and get some more steps in. We've got the brownie run tonight, so it's like a chaotic evening. Plus, it's pancake evening, pancake night, pancake day. So I think I'm going to be flipping lots of pancakes because we've got lots of children coming for tea. So I need to get my head around what I'm doing. So I will catch up with you all later on. Hi, good afternoon. I have just realised the time and I haven't actually been on here at all. This morning I went out and did a photo shoot for a client and then I have been shooting content. So I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I've got the bronzer on here. Sorry, that's my computer beeping at me. Probably more emails coming through. Can't keep up with the emails. I think I'm just so slow at reading stuff and then replying back. I'm just rubbish. Uh, it takes me forever. Yeah, I've got a friend who does Instagram and she is so far ahead up the follower count that she has an agent now that de deals with all her emails. And I just think, oh my gosh, I would love that because it just takes me forever to sift through. I get sent a lot of rubbish. A lot of people saying, hi, Sarah. And I'm like, clearly you can see <laughs> my email is my name you know random stuff and when they don't even bother to find out about you when it's just a generic thing it's really hard so yeah um I've been trying to do that as well so, but I've been shooting some content for my Charlotte Tilbury campaign that I'm doing over on my Instagram got my nails done yesterday I'm not sure I like the colour they're like can you see that let me get out the picture they're kind of I was going for a spring look and then when they put it on they're like do you like it and I'm like I'm too scared to say no. 
<laughs> so I'm like, yeah. I look like a Barbie. I don't quite know what I was going for. I was going for spring, but let's face it, it's not spring. It's freezing out there. It's absolutely freezing. Um, I've also been filming content for um, a brand that I'm working with over on Instagram, which is with firewood, really random. But I'm so grateful for the wood because we had a massive shortage um, with our supplier and we basically couldn't get any wood over Christmas. And so, we, yeah, we didn't have any fires because we were freezing. Um, so I'm now working with this company who I've worked with before, who are great. I'll show you that in a minute. And um, they sent me a load of wood. So I've been displaying it and sorting that out and in photos and things like that. I wanted to show you this shirt. That's why I really came on here. So this is the Orally shirt. I have it in the size large. Look at the detail, look at that. Isn't that cute? I love that. It's kind of like a, I would say like a linen-y fabric. It's not very stretchy. <laughs> this is not a great example. I've got a black bra on and then a white vest. Obviously, if you had the right underwear on, I think this would look really nice. I, I am, I have got a large. I would say their clothes come up quite a lot smaller than other brands I think because obviously people from Paris or people from France are slimmer I don't know but yeah I need a large with this bust and I don't know I could probably do with it being slightly bigger but I think with some better underwear on it might be it might look much better but I love it I love this detail isn't that beautiful let's try and get my face out of it so you can actually see really likes to focus on my face oh my gosh there we go beautiful so um go and check her out if you haven't already checked her out i will obviously style this a lot better and put on some proper underwear and show you it in um much better light and all those sorts of things but i just wanted to get it on and see what it was like uh now i'm finishing off a blog post that i am writing all about um the people that came to my house last week to um redesign my larder and my pull out cupboard thing and all of that um, and I have done a few kind of reels on them, but I've actually thought what I only need to do is actually document before and after. So I'm putting it into a blog post. So that is what I need to finish today and get live because I'm so bad at my blogging. I find that I do about two blog posts a month. I was going to say a week, I wish. And normally one is a newsletter and the other one is something to do with what I'm working with. Uh, and I really need to get better at doing more. I just find it takes me so long to think of ideas, and to get stuff up, ideas down. And yeah, it doesn't really work. Anyway, let me take you to show you the lovely fire, which I think has gone out now. So, um, oh, I've got all the lights on here. It's like really bright. Here we go. Oh, look, it's nearly gone out. So can you see here? So this is all the wood. Well, not all the wood. There was loads of wood. But I wanted to talk about the company that it's come from. So it is here. It's called Home Fire. These things are great, by the way. They're called Twizzlers. So they're like fire lighter things, but much better than the normal fire lighters and probably much better for the environment, etc. So we've got some of those, some little Kindle wood, which is at the back here. Obviously, this was a lot tidier and it didn't look like this earlier. <laughs> Um, and then they also sent like all the logs that are here. These ones are great underneath. Um, I can't remember what they're called because we've unwrapped the packet, but they're like long, long life. That's really not the right word. You know what I mean? Long wood life. You know what I mean? Um, and then down here, this is the kiln dried, dried logs. Sorry, I can't read today. So that is all of these which they it will burns really well and that, what they do is they send a, like a package um so you get the kindle you get the fire lighters and you get all the wood in one package so go on their website and have a look but it's a really good package you get loads with it so far it has been really really good and i recommend this company uh the delivery was great too they i just said can you leave it outside they've stacked it all up um so if you are looking for wood and you're short like me because the your supplier is short then i definitely recommend um having a look there we have been lighting the fire most evenings now because it's so cold in yorkshire i'm a really cold person as i've already said um so i love um warming up Anyway, so that is my fire story. I've got, look, I've got like a massive light in here. I need to turn that off. 
and I need to go and get some stuff done before they all come back from school. So I need to go now. I'm back tomorrow though, and tomorrow I have a very exciting day. I am heading to York. Um, first of all, I've got a meeting in the morning, and then I'm rushing to Phoenix. I'm off to meet the area manager and the team at Charlotte Tilbury. And we are going to be talking about an event that I'm planning with them, which I am so excited about. I literally am so excited. Now I've been sent, now I've been sent all this Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I've used bits in the past, but not really as much, which I've said before, I literally love it. So I went into one of the branches and I just said, look, can I, can anyone help me? I need to get the email for the area manager. So I just don't know how you approach and get through to the right people. Anyway, several millions of emails later, I found the right person and she's lovely. So we had a chat on the phone last week and I'm off to meet her tomorrow and her team. And we're gonna talk about an event that we are planning very soon. So I'm very excited to tell you all about that. I can't say anything yet until it's all sorted. And then I'm off to Mint Velvet. I'm going to meet the team in Mint Velvet, which again, I'm very excited about. I obviously know the shop really well because I shop in there all the time, but I'm going to meet uh, the manager and all the team there because I'm organizing an event with Laura. I'm gonna try and put a poster up so you can see the poster. We are going to be doing, she's going to be doing a talk, styling their pieces for spring, summer. Um, and then there's going to be lots of other exciting things going on. I can't tell you yet what's happening. So I'm off to meet them, have a little browse in mint velvet. Um, and then I'll be heading back here. But I will take you with me tomorrow because I think it's a more exciting day than today. Um, and you can see what I get up to. For now, though, I need to do some work. So I will speak to you later. morning I have just finished my first meeting and now I'm walking into York um, I'm gonna head to Phoenix first to go and meet the Charlotte Tilbury team and then go on to um, Mint Velvet I'm just by the Minster it is an absolutely beautiful day I just need to make sure I don't get run over in York today oh my god it's stunning So I will try and do some videos when I'm there if I can to show you the space where the event's going to be and um, so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Very excited. I've got on my Hobbs dress today. This is a knitted um, jumper dress. It's got a lovely tie there which is the same colour as the dress so it actually works quite well for me and it's quite warm. So it's perfect weather for this. It's not too, too hot, but not too cold. So it's really good. Yeah. Oh, so that's what I've got. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's more of a rosy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes. Matte, very matte. Yeah. 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 So all these are our like, our, our, our iconic products, but you can just pick what's it with the other one as well. Okay. Um, they said this one here, but because of the all the on TikTok and everything, it is out of stock. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's the flawless filter. Yes, I was watching loads of TikToks and everyone's raving about it. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Right. So I have just met the team in Mint Velvet. I'm up here now. Um, I'm going to show you around some of the clothes. So we've been looking at the space. So we're actually going to do the event downstairs. And we've been talking about where the chairs are going to go, where the models will walk down, and where Charlotte Tilbury will be when she does when they do the talk and after the talk. Um, but it's such a beautiful store. If you haven't been in here, it's huge. They've got downstairs, they've got upstairs, they've got loads of changing rooms. And it is just a really lovely light store. We've got loads of, no, look at all the new things that are out. So I'm just gonna have a quick browse around and see what I can see um, to try on. And then I think I might head back down to have a look around some of the shops before I head home, because I really need to get on with some work. But I've had such a brilliant morning meeting the team and seeing how this event's gonna pan out. So I've just got back from York after a brilliant morning. It was amazing. I think I've decided that I just love events and I love meeting people. I also really love like, like secretly, I love being stressed and having to like juggle things. I don't know why. Anyway, so um, I first of all went to go to meet the Charlotte Tilbury team who were lovely. And it was really nice because I always think Charlotte Tilbury is such a big brand and the makeup is lovely but I always think you know they're like really cool people and perhaps not me however the, the team were just so nice the lady that runs all the stuff in York is just lovely so I had a really good meeting with her and I also met the lady that organizes the events in Phoenix uh, which was really nice too and she was so nice um, so we got chatting about different events that I've done in the past. You can look those up on the Enterprise Collective. Years ago when I found myself not going, being able to go back to teaching uh, for various reasons, you can read it all on the blog. I um, traveled the country with my husband's job, had lots of small children. I decided to work for myself and work from home. And I found it really lonely and quite hard work you know, thinking of all these things when you're selling products or selling something, you've got to know how to make a website, how to do a logo, how to do all these things. And obviously I'd come from a teacher background. I didn't really know how to do that. So I found myself asking friends who had small businesses or were doing things on their own, how did you do this? Can you help me? And so I arranged a meetup and it eventually turned into the Enterprise Collective where I organised a big speaker to come and do a talk and then 
I would get loads of people and we would just basically network. So I've done this with a series of friends over the years. Some have gone to do other things. Um, some of one lady I'm working with at the moment, she's just had a baby. So I've kind of put that kind of on hold at the moment. And last September, you will remember, I did a styling event with Laura Fawcett. So she is a stylist based in York. She's very cool, like too cool for me. And she did a talk for me at the Hobbs, of, Hobbs um, store in York. And we had an evening where she came and styled some of the outfits and we had a model and it was just a really lovely evening. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna be doing one in with her again, which is very exciting, in Mint Velvet in, Le in no, in York, sorry. <laughs> confused there's a new one that's opened in Leeds but not there so the one in York so today after I met the lovely Shod Tilbury team I then went to go to meet the team in Mint Velvet which was really nice they're lovely um so we, we had a tour around the store we talked about how the evening's going to work where the chairs will go where Laura will stand where Charlotte Tilbury stand will be um yeah it was just it was so good. I've came, come out going, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm literally buzzing. I love organising and doing events. Um, so I'm just really, really excited about it. We are pitching and selling the tickets tonight. So when this goes live, which will be Tuesday, I'm not sure if there'll be any tickets left. But I will put a link below on the um, page if you would like to come and hopefully there is some tickets. We've had to cap it because it is a big store, but we don't want too many people and we want it to be quite an exclusive event. And hopefully we will do more like this afterwards. So I'm very excited. We have got uh, Laura doing the styling talk. We are then going to talk to Charlotte Tilbury, who are going to showcase some of their new products, which is quite exciting. We'll be able to try the products on and buy the products there from Charlotte Tilbury. Then we'll be able to shop the Mint Velvet collection, which I'm very excited about because I love Mint Velvet. The quality is just beautiful. And I feel like it's really, um, kind of like a cool brand um, for kind of my age, maybe slightly younger, but I love it. So I'm really excited. The prints are gorgeous. Just, yeah, really, really love Mint Velvet. So I'm beyond excited to be doing something there with them. We've still got lots of organizing to do, like the goodie bags and various other little bits, uh, but it's gonna be really good. So I'm very, very, very excited. And I can't wait. Um, so I've just come back. I'm just following up with emails and organising that. Something's arrived in the post, which I want to show you, but I'm just so excited. So I wanted to get that out there. I'll go and find the dress that has arrived to show you that. So the lovely team at Buffon and Blake have sent me a beautiful dress. I'm quite excited because Josie, if you don't follow her already on YouTube, then you need to. She's called from called uh, the Fashion Mumbler. I think you can, if you look that up, you'll be able to find her. She was wearing quite a lot of this brand the other day and she had a try on with them and she wore this dress. Um, and so anyway, I have got it here. So let me show you. So you'll have to imagine once I've steamed it, what it will actually look like. It's kind of like a cord but like a very thin cord so I think it's perfect for this kind of weather now Josie she styled it with a little belt she had a little brown belt that went round I think that would look rather lovely um let me just come back so you can actually see the outfit hold on um it's not very good view that is it hold on let me move it over here on the green that looks better doesn't it so i absolutely love this brand um they have lots of um men's shirts that my husband loves and jumpers so he has a lot of their stuff i've got quite a few shirts of theirs um but um i haven't actually had a dress before so i'm quite excited to try this so it starts there and goes all the way down to the bottom here so i think it'd be a great length on me it's really nice and I really like this green colour as well. It's kind of like a, a mossy green. It's very nice. So if you don't know this company, go check them out because they have got some really beautiful products which are very nicely made and will last you. So 
I do totally recommend them. Good afternoon, it's actually evening. <laughs> the day has completely flown by and I've not been on here and I apologise because I wanted to show you this morning, I went to go and get my eyelashes um, done. So can you see, I don't know if you can see there. So I've had the extensions put in. I asked them for them to be very natural and short and not and I'm really happy with them. I think they look amazing. So I went to a new lady because my usual lady's gone on maternity leave. So I was trying out a new lady and I'm really nervous. Especially when things are on your face. You're like, ooh. Anyway, she was amazing. She was really, really good. So she also, you can see they're a bit red. Um, she laminated my eyebrows. So I've had them laminated and HD'd. Um, so she's measured out all of the thing tinted them so they're quite dark they will go lighter what tomorrow when I wash my face because I can't touch them now because they've been laminated we also talked about the shape of them and the fact that they're really bad so she wants me to grow them for like two weeks so I was like I can't do that um I really I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it and she was like yeah you need to just grow them and then I'll sort them out she was saying to me that I need to my eyebrows need to be in line here with with this bit of my nose. I always thought it was this bit. <laughs> She's like, no, they need to be in like another chunk in. I was like, oh, I just get really, really happy with the tweezers and just tweeze away. Um, so anyway, we talked about, we talked about the shape at the end. So they're slightly red because I've had them waxed, threaded, the works. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased, I love the shape. Obviously they're way too dark. I'm not happy about the darkness, but that I know will fade because um, the tint obviously went on and stayed on, but I do have black roots. So they are my natural kind of color anyway, but just got a bit darker. Um, so once uh, the tint goes, I think I'm gonna love them. I'm gonna have to keep them in shape and nice and nice and um, smoothed over with a little brush. I've got a little brush. To do them and comb them up but one thing i wanted to talk to you about was this so this is a new product let me get out my face there we are and someone's raving about it on a on a um vlog i was watching and i was like what is this so before i, I won't, won't put it on now because i've obviously got my eyes laminated but if you don't want to do that then i totally recommend this product we've been using it this week it's like a soap bar you wet it we're supposed to spray it with water and then you do this and you come in and it really lasts no other product i've ever had lasts you also get weird gluey bits on your eyebrow like you've got pva stuck to your glue i just really don't rate it i've had, tried the benefit one i've tried the hd one and they just look like i've got pva glue stuck to my face after a while so do not recommend those but this is really good so if you're looking for something to keep your brows in shape it's called soap brows extra strong hold brown soap totally recommend that anyway then i rushed back i had a load of people for lunch so i had to make i made a big salad goat's cheese um beetroot walnuts and pear with watercress salad I made a dressing to go with it it was actually really nice and i was like i'm being really healthy guys so i'm really sorry this is quite boring but everyone loved it so that was good i served up bread for everyone else i didn't have any and then i made like a fruit um kind of dessert with natural yogurt and a bit of the puree thing that went on it so that was really nice again i didn't video so i'm really sorry i didn't see any of that tonight's phoebe's birthday she's back and so we're gonna have a call in the caterpillar cake because you know how much i love that but she does so it's okay and we've got lasagna so we're gonna have a big lasagna we're waiting for my husband who's stuck in theater so I think we're just going to have to have it without him. And those of you that are married to doctors will know that feeling well. So we haven't heard, got no ETA. So we think we're just going to eat and I hope he turns up in time for us some cake. Um, so, or maybe not, sometimes he is in all night. So who knows? Anyway, so we're going to pretend and have a really nice birthday tomorrow. I'm going shopping with her in the afternoon. Um, she wants to go to Primark, Zara. Um, we're going to do a bit of manga. I'm going to introduce her to that. Zara is her favourite shop, so we'll definitely be going in there. Do H&M as well and a bit of new look. So we're going to do all the shops, me and her, and then we're going to meet everybody else after for pizza. So it's going to be a nice fun day for us. I'm looking forward to it. I really want to 
um, have some time just with her. I find that I'm always torn between all the kids. I don't have any time just for one. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've got my Prosecco in the fridge. I haven't drunk anything all week. So I'm going to have a drink tonight. I'm so excited to just oh, chill out and have a drink. I might try and head out for a walk with my husband late if he actually comes home. Um, so we'll see about that. I haven't, I've only done one walk this morning. I went out very early, did my 40 minute walks. I've done that. I don't know how many steps I've done. Let's have a look. Just taking my watch off to charge. Let's see. I might have to do another one. Oh, how do I get out of it? Gosh, it's 6.30 already. Oh, it's got a bit frozen, the watch. I don't know how many I've done. What is this? It just goes black. Come on. Oh, loading, it says. I don't think it likes me. Loading. It doesn't know how many steps I've done. <laughs> Clearly not enough. <gasps> oh, not now. Not now. I don't know why it is. I think it's waking up. Oh, there we are. Something happened there. I've done... Oh, oh. This could be good, guys. No. 6,700. <laughs> really need to get over 10. I've done over 10 pretty much every day this week. It's not good, is it? Especially if I'm about to have a glass of Prosecco. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go in, in... Oh, it's moving. Something's happening. It's flashing around for me. Oh, move goal. I've achieved that. That's good. Anyway, I better go and sort out this. Oh, and also I've got an event tomorrow. I mustn't forget that. I'm going to... I don't actually know what it... <laughs> this is me going, yes, like weeks ago, and I can't remember what I'm doing. Um, I think it's kind of like an interior bathroom thing a friend of mine is organizing it so she has invited me to go so i'm going to go along and see it in the morning and then do the shopping so i will take you with me don't worry i need to sort out this before i go anywhere tomorrow god that actually i do look at that it's horrendous right if i don't speak to you now i will see you tomorrow so i've just arrived here to a beautiful showroom and i'm heading in for the event this morning uh, a lady called Emma has organised it and I can't wait to meet her. Uh, I chat lots to her online, but I've never actually met her. And obviously there'll be lots of different kind of influences in there. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with everybody. Um, but I will fill you in once I've gone inside. buy everything in here. So this is the sample room. This is quite cool, isn't it? It's got all your tiles. They've got some really lovely brands in here. 
It's amazing. Oh, I love this. I would love that on my bathroom. This they come as well. Oh, love those. This is pretty cool space to have. And then heading out here, this is kind of the bathroom section. That is so nice. I love the tiles. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I would love that. I love all the tiles over here. I think this is obviously really in like this rectangular kind of tile. And this is really nice. I've just got back from the event which was really lovely what i love about these events is when you get to see other people doing this thing whatever i'm doing because there aren't that many of them and when you get catch up with them it's just so nice to realize that we're all in this together really they're such a lovely bunch the harrogate like bloggers and influencer crew they're really really nice um so i saw a harrogate mama there who I've done quite a few events with before. She's lovely, Lucy. Um, and then another lady called Northern Bindi, who I have followed on here for years. And she was like, oh, you know, we're introducing each other. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's you. So that was really nice, because we DM each other. And um, there was a new lady, Lauren, I met, who's got an amazing um, interiors account. Um, there were there were so many people there. It was Chelsea, uh, Linda, who I've not seen for ages. I love Linda. So it was just really nice to catch up with people. But not only that, the, the actual showroom was beautiful. So if you're looking for a kitchen, a bathroom, um, interiors, basically, they've got interior shops and you can buy it at the back. You could buy products and things there. Um, it was massive as well. The team were really nice. I spoke to the guy that owns it, um, Ella, who organised it. She did such a fantastic job. There was cupcakes, there was gin, there was um, food out the back. There was a competition, honestly. And the goodie bag, it's amazing. Let me show you. Um, really, really nice. She, she, so like recent, out of all the events I've been to recently, she has gone over and above. I'm very impressed. Um, so I said to her, oh, I, yeah, I really want to meet up with you again because I think she's just really obviously knows her stuff. She's really good. And when you DM people, you don't actually get to like really know who they are. So it's really nice to actually meet her. So we've got, all, we've got badges, um, little lanyard things. Can't see the logo. I've got my cupcake. I'm going to give this to Phoebe. So it was her birthday yesterday, so I'm gonna give that to her because we'll have an argument otherwise. Got this. So this is like a chopping board. So they said that when they make their um, worktops, there's often a bit left over, obviously where the sink was. So instead of like throwing it away or not using it, they make them into chopping boards. How cool is that? So I love that. 
it's so nice so we got one of those and then this is literally just packed with goodies um the kids are gonna love that uh lots of branded things which are very nice cups um very very well organized this was the gin company uh, i met the one of the brothers that owns it and he was lovely really interesting story about their background have a look at them and i recognized this picture straight away i was like that is phantoms abbey beautiful uh branding so really recommend them and it tastes amazing and then we've got leaflets oh my gosh it goes on it literally goes on what's this a towel pens and lots of things anyway i've had such a good morning really nice morning um and oh, it's so nice to catch up with the people and then i sort of said i've got to go now so i'm heading to leeds in a minute i'm waiting for phoebe and then we're going to go and head into leeds and do some shopping this is going to be our first ever shopping trip together um and i'm hoping she's not going to buy too much i'm a bit worried about my bank balance but we're going to go and have a look at h m primark um zara she wants to go to uh, I might introduce her to Mango. I think it might be too old for her, but we'll have a look. Uh, then we're going to meet our old au pair for coffee. And then everybody else is going to head in to meet us. My husband's on call, so in theatre. So we're all crossing our fingers that he can get out to come and meet us for pizza. We're going tonight to somewhere called Rudy's Pizza. I've never been and I've heard it is amazing. So we're all really excited about trying out their pizza because the reviews and from everybody we know that's been there it's amazing that is very cute we've got very cute things this is Bowden in John Lewis I think it's all a bit cute isn't it we need some cooler things it's very sweet oh look Raffi would like that the dinosaurs look at these they look so cute I think we need to head to, um, we've only found this, which I think is very nice. I quite like it for myself. I'm just in John Lewis now. Nothing else? I like these. Oh, big trousers. Baggy. The baggy trousers. Somewhere like Zara might have something like that. They are nice, nice shape. Kind of like combat style, which I think, yeah, I like those.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phoebe. Happy birthday to you. Woo! 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 Yay! We are at the top of the car park, looking through to see Leeds at night. Ooh. We can't really see much, can we, because of the thing. Oh, it looks busy. It's very busy in town. We are now in an empty car park, aren't we? Let's go. Completely, pretty much empty. <laughs> We're gonna go get a car and head home now and have a cozy Saturday night in. It's freezing. So yesterday when I was in town, I picked up these at the Charlotte Tilbury counter, John Lewis. So one is this flawless filter. I have heard lots and lots about it since I've started using more Charlotte Tilbury. People are raving about this product, so I cannot wait to try it. It's a it's supposed to be sort of like a primer, except it looks like a foundation colour which is very unusual because all the primers I've ever had are like cream based and yet yeah, are not like this. So I'm really looking forward to trying that and feeding back to you to let you know what that looks like. And then I also picked up this, which is their Radiant Concealer. So they have two concealers, one that's a kind of like a pen one, and then this one that's more like a stick with a thing that you pull out. Um, I'll show you them in more detail once I've opened them up. But I just wanted to show it to you now. So what I'm going to do is do my full face just using Charlotte Tilbury products. I'll try and do it on a time lapse so you can actually see me putting it on and what it looks like. So I just forgot to put a little bit of mascara on the bottom. I'm using their, um, what's it called? Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes is what I'm using. So I've just put that on the bottom. Obviously I have my lash extensions on the top, so I've not put it on there. Um, so it's a bit of a funny applicator and I had heard that. So you just, I don't, I was rushing because I was showing you, but I think I need to play with it a lot more. It does give like a really glowy, um, colour to it it's not I wouldn't wear it as a foundation I think some people might wear it if they wanted a light foundation but I definitely wouldn't do that it's too light for me I need it thick so it acts as a base almost which is obviously what it's supposed to do it's a primer um so I can feel I can see and feel the kind of glow coming through gosh look at these wrinkles don't look I need to go. I'm too scared to go and get some Botox I need to um and then this is the um concealer which is like a normal concealer that I've used before it's quite thick in consistency um wasn't expecting it to be so thick so I was going to pat it but I was like oh I can't I had to sort of smooth it which I think will work better for me because I've got dry under eyes and obviously lots of lines appearing anyway I'm quite pleased with it I think it looks really good guess where I'm going now you'll never guess I've done a full face of makeup where am I going I'm going to rugby I've got to go now Willie and I'm never going to get car parking space. My husband is in theatre, of course, stuck. So I have the joy of doing the rugby run, which is not what I signed up for. So I'm going to take my coffee and stand on the sideline. Then I'm going to come back and I've got a shoot tomorrow. So I need to plan. So I'll be back later. Oh, that's the Little Hufflepuff, show us. Show me inside what's Hufflepuff. Yellow. Yeah, I'm saying it's just guys. So what's that in? It's celery. The word 
is it? Raven Claw. Raven Claw. Evening, everybody. I am just sorting out things for a shoot that I have got tomorrow, which wasn't planned at all. But a photographer friend has got a slot tomorrow, so I took it. So I'm not organised. So I'm just planning this shoot now so that I know what I'm doing tomorrow, hopefully. Just got some shoes ready. It's going to be a quick, short shoot. So I've got to quickly cram as much as I can in. I'm just steamed some of these outfits. So I'm going to be doing a bit for... Uh, Buffon and Blake. I showed you this dress earlier. So I've just been steaming it. Um, then I have some lovely Hobbs dresses, which I am going to be featuring as well. Look, can you see my <laughs> blog? Yes, that's what I need to do tonight. Read my blog or write my blog, I mean. So I've got some Hobbs dresses that I'm going to feature. I've got the Hobbs trench, which I think might go nicely with this, I'm hoping. Um, and then a couple of pieces of rhyme. So this is a... Um, Mint velvet, kind of like tweed jacket. Oh, I've just remembered I've got a white t-shirt somewhere that I'm going to put underneath that. And then I'm going to team it with my kind of flared boot cut jeans. These are mint velvet too. They're high-waisted. They're really nice on. And my little, in fact, I'm going to go home mint velvet. Um, my little boots, which have had seen better days, look they're a bit trashed, but I love these boots, they're so nice. So I'm going to put those on with that. Another mint velvet dress arrived actually, this one here. Not sure I love the print, I love the shape of it though. The skirt is really nice. It's quite big, I think that'll be really nice on. So I'm going to try that tomorrow. And then I have also a crew clothing, uh, dress here um, I just love their stuff it's just easy wearing isn't it you know it's going to be nice on this is this looks quite big I'm not sure it's obviously supposed to be slightly oversized but I quite like it for summer I've got my Hicks and Brown hat there um, which I'm thinking might work outside so I'm going to do got my little bag there um, my new shirt which is my Holland and Cooper shirt I'm not sure if I showed you this might show it to you next week now because it's a bit squashed into this corner with the gilet, which is there. And then, what are these pieces? What's that? Oh, that is my Orally shirt. Um, and then another Hobbs jumper, which is just there. So I might, yeah, I'm not really sure how what I'm going to team that with. Maybe the jeans. I, need, I think I need to go and get my skinny jeans to put with that. I've got my uh, boots. This is a top tip as well. If you don't have any shoehorn things to go in, just put in an empty bottle of wine upside down and it holds them up and in place. I thought it was a really clever idea. <laughs> I think I saw someone on Instagram do it. So I'm gonna probably wear it with those boots. I've also got my little shoes, my handbag there ready. So I'm gonna write out a list now of the shoot, what clothes I need and what props I need so that we're ready for tomorrow. My husband has gone back to the hospital. Surprise, surprise. I hate him being on call. I literally hate it. Um, it's made me in such a bad mood as well. I've like been snapping at everyone because I hate being like on my own, being a single mum. It just drags back memories of when he was training. And I basically lived on my own with the kids and he lived in a hospital far, far away. And it was awful and it was really hard. And I think it just makes me feel like really funny. So, um, yeah, I'm not in a great mood. Um, so he came home to eat and then he's gone back. So, um, anyway, I'm, I'm yet to hear, he's obviously stuck in theatre as to what time he'll be back. But I think I need an early night because of this shoot tomorrow. I've got a meeting in the morning and then shoot and then people for lunch. So it's a manic one tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and watch along next week. I've got two shoots next week. So one on Monday, one on Wednesday. So they should be quite fun to uh, follow along with. If you liked watching this, please don't forget to hit subscribe and click the like button. And I will see you here back next week with more 
exciting, I was trying to think of something exciting to say, exciting things happening 